What's up everybody? It's Realistic with Realistic Productions doing another tutorial for SoundOracle.net and today we're going to kind of do something kind of cool. It's one of my secrets that I don't like to share too much but I figured that I'd go into my little mixing technique vault and share it with you and it's called Mid-Side Compression. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go into a track with a bunch of vocals behind it and we're going to just compress the sides of the mix and what that's going to do is it's going to get the uh, side the left and right to pump a little bit more so it's gonna sound super wide all right let's dive into Pro Tools all right so I got Pro Tools open up here but like I always say these techniques will work with any DAW and if you haven't already go ahead and open up your DAW of choice and do this with me if you got the capability to because you'll find that you'll always learn a lot more if you're able to do it with me instead of just trying to uh, remember the information for later so what we're doing is we're gonna be doing some mid side compression it's a really cool technique to widen up your mixes it's one of my favorite things to do and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and uh, take this song I got this song I worked on over the summer I mixed it and I thought it was a good example because there was just a lot of vocals in there and I wanted to really widen them up so let's, let's give this a little listen to and, and hear what that sounds like and then I'll show you what I did to get the vocals wide using mid-side compression Yeah, so what I did in there was I took, uh, I got a lot of vocal tracks here that you can see. And these were, at one point, these were all mono tracks. Usually what I do is, is I'll come down and, you know, you see their individual mono. After I'm done recording and doing some processing, I'll actually throw the doubles on stereo tracks. That way I'm just able to control the left and right of the doubles equally, and it helps me save on some processing power too. But, yeah, you see we got quite a bit of vocal tracks here, and I just want to show you what I did, and I did it on each individual channel. You can also do it on a sum if you want, but I found on this song I was able, really able to just widen things up doing them on the individual channels. So let's give this a listen, and uh, I'll bypass the mid-side compression and kind of just show you what I did with it. Champagne spilling, I'll be chilling with the OGs. Mary J came around, did it on of me. So you can see I was able to get it a little, you know, wide doing the pans and stuff, but I wanted things to be a little bit wider than that yet. So what I did was I opened up this Fab Filter Pro C2. Yeah, and you just want to come down to this side chain area right here. On other compressors, there's not a lot of compressors that will actually offer this as a future for mid-side compression, which I, I wish more of them did, but a lot of them are trying to just emulate classic analog gear. But the ones that do offer it will be either in the side chain area or the advanced features area or the more options area. And so on this one... You just come down here where it says stereo link and you want to just switch to sides. So what we're going to be doing is compressing the sides pretty aggressively. And then you just want to make that stereo link all the way to 100%. And a lot of times I'll choose a, a compressor that's either more like a glue compressor or a classic one. For this one, I'll, I'll do a glue compressor because I'm just trying to really get this to glue together. And I like to be just a little bit more aggressive on the attack, uh, pretty aggressive on the release, and just be a, uh, pretty aggressive on the threshold too. Um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll play it by itself and then I'll, I'll pop it in and, and should be able to hear the difference. Champagne spilling, I'll be chilling with the OGs. Mary J came around, did it up on me. Club shut down, but the lights still on me. Feeling like an MVP. Champagne spilling, I'll be chilling with the OGs. Mary J came around, did it up on me. Club shut down, but the lights still on me. Feeling like an MVP. Champagne spilling, I'll be chilling with the OGs. Mary J came around, did it up on me. Club shut down, but the lights still on me. Feeling like it. Yeah, so hopefully you're able to hear a little subtle change here and there of it getting wider. And, and as you add it on to a lot of them, I, I'll show you on the master channel. 
I'll add it on. What I actually did here was I added it on a, on a bunch of channels. So let me just bypass the compressors here that I used the mid-side compressor on. And then I'm going to just throw it on a sum. And then we can give that a, a listen to and hear what that sounds like as, as just one whole cohesive unit of using the mid-side compression. Champagne spilling, I'll be chilling with the OGs. Mary J came around, did a number on me. The club shut down, but the light's still on me. Feeling like an MVP. Yeah, so I'm able to really just hear quite a, a big difference just going in and out of there. When we're here, it's it's slightly wide. Champagne spilling, I'll be chilling with the OGs. Mary J. But when we come into it, it definitely gets a lot wider. Champagne spilling, I'll be chilling with the OGs. Mary J came around, did a number on me. The club shut down, but the light's still on me. Yeah, so hopefully you can get a, a little bit out of this tutorial. It's one of my favorite tricks. Definitely been able to come through and help me make a lot of mixes wider and stuff. So, yeah. All right, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial on mid-side compression. And basically what we did was we opened up a compressor and we went down into our side chaining or advanced features on some compressors. And we were able to switch it from... Uh, stereo link to mid side and we selected side and we just compressed the sides you saw that we got pretty aggressive with our attack release and our threshold and with the results of that it ended up being a super wide mix so i hope that you enjoyed that and like i always say if you enjoy these tutorials please comment below let us know what kind of tutorials that you want in the future Oracle and I are always trying to find the newest ways to give you the content that you want. You can find me on the web at realisticproductions.net. I'm everywhere on social media at Realistic Productions. If you're looking for the dopest sounds, the heaviest 808s, the thumpingest kicks, the snares that just really cut through the mix, be sure to go to soundoracle.net. You'll be able to find all of that there. And you can find Sound Oracle everywhere on social media at Sound Oracle. All right.